No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal. And it's make or break here at Albert Park, home of the Australian Grand Prix since 1996. And home to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We go racing today then in the state of Victoria, where the drivers have 16 corners and 3.3 miles to navigate at an average lap speed of around 120 miles an hour. The close proximity of the barriers makes accidents inevitable, and recent history shows us that a safety car is not at all out of the question. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive Constructors' title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector are back over four decades ago. So how are they looking so far? Ever since their participation was announced, there were questions being asked about whether an outfit like this could survive. And certainly it's proving to be a trial by fire so far. Let's hope they can continue to draw an investment and find a little more pace as well. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Alexander Albon and Leclerc, Ricardo, Sainz, Ocon and Daniel Kvyat, Norris, Perez, Pierre Gasly and Stroll, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen and Roman Grosjean. Russell, Schumacher, Latifi, and Power. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. seeing any technical issues coming off the practice start. Watch the RPM on the full start. We don't want to bog down. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected.
careful with the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. so far. move. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. your MFD for a new strategy option. Exit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Complete. Go now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires.
go, go. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Blue flag, blue flag. laps of fuel remaining. Racing the car behind. Let them pass when you can. Caution, caution. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. a few remaining. Racing the car behind. Let them pass when you can. All right, race.
Race over. Take care of the car on the way in. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today, and they've taken a fantastic win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive, and that's allowed them to take the advantage. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot, a well-earned victory for Mercedes.